Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have another thrift haul for you. This one is small also, just a touch bigger than the last one. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you would like any of these thrifted items, please visit thepaintedphotographer.com and you can purchase them there or any of the products that I use. First up, this tiny little birdhouse. It's on a stake. It's got an ugly ribbon. I'll take that off. It was seven cents. It's pretty tiny. It's like the size of my hand, but screaming spring. Next up, a little ducky. Isn't he so cute? Reminds me of a little vintage figurine. I'm not sure if he is or not. It has no markings on it. it. Has no chips or cracks or anything. It was 79 cents. He is perfect for some spring Easter decor. Next up, we have a box. If you've been following me long enough, you know I like my boxes. You can do so many things with when someone puts together a little box. This one, the cover is a little crooked. The hinge is a little bit bigger than the cover. I have a plan for all of that. It has some felt feet on the bottom. Them are coming off. And it was 79 cents. It's going to be cute. Follow along and you'll see what I do with it. Some cutout bunnies. These were bought at the thrift store. They were 98 cents a piece. They have a little pop out. So they'd be cute just like this without the pop out. They'd be cute just with the little pop out by itself. They are super adorable with the pop out inside there like that. I have a plan for them. I think we're gonna use some more IOD Rose chintz inlay to fix them up. 98 cents a piece for those. A birdhouse. It's on a chain and it's kind of an avocado green. Don't really like it. They tried to rust up the top. Don't really like that either. It was 258. It's got some runnage down here where they glued the perch in. But it's just a cute birdhouse. It's um, hanging on a chain. Be so cute hanging in somebody's tree for summer. But it's gonna get some work done to it. This little lamb. Do you remember when people would get flowers for having babies? And I just feel like this is one of them that they would have gotten way back in the day when they had a baby. And they would get, the florist would send them flowers and there'd be some flowers in there. So this was 58 cents and uh, he's not too cute, but he's cute enough. But then I went and added some lavender to him and he's super sweet. He's really screaming spring with that lavender in him. So he will be sold as is. You can find him located on my website at thepaintedphotographer.com. A rolling pin. 59 cents for this rolling pin. It has some really unique looking handles. There's no washer in there, which a washer, a plastic washer in there is like um, pretty modern, but this one has no plastic washer. It does, it is free. It has no grinding on it whatsoever. 59 cents. So I'd like to bring the roller part back up to where somebody could possibly use it. And then my um, green color, my October Mist 2022 color of the year, we're going to call that Lamb's Ear. I think I'm going to paint my handles in Lamb's Ear. I will show you again how I mix that color. I have some picture frames. There was no price on this one. I'm not sure what they charged me for it. It does have a, a painting in there that someone from our community did paint it. I feel like I do know him. It was Norb Brantner in 1988. Norb Brantner. I feel like he was an insurance guy. So there's some, it's got a good frame. I'll probably paint it. Um, we're gonna maybe do something to this little painting right here because it is kind of cute. But we're gonna modernize that a bit. Next frame 
is an ornate frame. It is old. It does have some pieces missing. You can go and fix those, two of them. You can go and fix those with IOD clay and the air dry clay, which I think I probably will try. The print, nothing special. Don't like it. That'll come out of there. We'll do something else. The back, an old wood board with some wood nails. That's when you know that it's old, when they use those wood nails and that, that old board. Look at this print. Isn't that sweet? So cottage core. Um, I did wipe it down to make sure that it wasn't, you know, that it wasn't too dirty under there. And it just came with a just a plain old simple wood frame. We're gonna paint that up and give this a new life. And hopefully somebody will like it for their cottage core decor. Here's another bird print. This one is, oh, I forgot to tell you. This one was Art LeMay. I'll show you up close just so you can see the signature on there. I'm sure it's not an original. I did look them up. They're like $119, but I'm sure it's not original. Um, Eastern Bluebirds here. This one, that is also a nice cottage core paint um, print. We're gonna try what my is in my head on this print first. That's what I have for my thrift haul. Thank you all for watching and I will see you at the end. I like to take these frames and pull the backing apart, making them easier to paint. So I took this picture out, I cleaned it all up, and then I took some clear wax, DIY, and went right over top of the picture, protecting it. And then I also wanted to age it a bit, so I took the DIY dark wax and aged it, taking a paper towel and buffing that back. And I, can't help but feel I added skeleton key, and then a coat of big top and dark waxed it to match the print. You've seen me mix a green paint in the last video. It's farm fresh, cake batter about 50-50. I mix them up until I get this really, really pretty green, which you can use straight, but in the 2022 Benjamin Moore color of the year, it's a little bit lighter, so I add some white to it. Now, when you're a thrifter, you take the same color paint and you paint a lot of items. So I'm going to be using this fun green for a lot of my thrifted items in this video today. So I'm going to just keep on painting. One of the IOD products I'm having so much fun using is this new paint inlay. This is Rose Chintz, and I decided to put it over top of the bunny. So you can cut the area that you need so you only get a certain amount and you don't ruin your whole sheet. And uh, you're going to cut on the grid lines and then uh, take a coat of DIY paint and you're going to put it right over top of the bunny. It'll be on the reverse side. 
So you want to make sure that you have those roses in the right area. So put it on there the way it should be on there to test it out and make sure roses are getting where you want them to go. So you're going to take a coat of DIY paint, putting it on wet. You want wet paint. You do not want dry paint. And then you're going to place the IOD paint inlay on top of the wet paint, smoothing it on with your hands. I kind of like it with some wrinkles in it so wrinkles don't bother me whatsoever and I needed a little bit for his ear there so I just went and added a little piece of that paint inlay to cover up his ear and smoothing it all down then you're going to take a spray bottle and mist it this is going to really make the paint inlay adhere and using the IOD brayer is a lifesaver if you want to use a paint inlay this brayer is a must I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. After the paint inlay has totally dried, you want to leave it dry on its own. Then you take and mist it again with a spray bottle and you're going to leave it on there for about 30 seconds. And what that's doing is softening up that paper layer. And now after it's softened up, you're going to take that paper and you're going to peel it back and the paint inlay is going to be adhered to your project. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. You want to make sure that you seal them, and it's best to use a spray sealer to seal that in. Otherwise, the paint from the inlay can smear. Forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? Next up, this cute little box. I had put the cameo mold, one of the cameo molds on the box and it was too big. I didn't like how it, how it went over the um, seam in the box. So I'm making a smaller one with the IOD clay, smoothing it all out. And this one is a much better size and it has roses on it. So I'm going to pull that right out. Yep, fits much better than the last one. And you take the wood glue smear it on the back side and then adhere it to the wood box i watch you as you dry do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. After that clay has dried, I took the DIY cake batter and went over top of all the wood parts of the box and the molds and gave it cake batter. It doesn't cover as well as some of the other paints, so I gave it two coats. Then I went in with some white wax straight onto the cake batter, no clear wax, no top coat, just straight white wax. And it gives it kind of tones down that cake batter a little bit and gives it a real vintagey um, old look to it. I took a baby wipe and distressed this print, this frame, with the Indian and the horse and distressed that back to the dark wood. I really like the look of distressed paint and with this DIY paint it's so easy to do that without any dust. This little birdhouse was painted in that green paint also and I had 
sealed it with DIY's Big Top. I'm gonna to take some Spanish moss and I'm going to hot glue the Spanish moss onto the bottom of it. I think the birdhouse is a little plain and needs some dressing up. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of decorating down there on the bottom. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? The rolling pin turned out really cute. I wanted it someone to be able to use it, so I sanded down the rolling pin to get all of that grime off of it and just really gave it a good sanding job and then cleaned it up. This is Sweet Pickens oil, and you just, it's all natural and can be used for projects like this. I got this years ago and I'm still using the same bottle, but it just shines that wood up and makes it so pretty and then also usable. The second bunny didn't speak to me right away, but she finally got her word out there where she wanted to be painted in cake batter. So she got a coat of cake batter and then also the paint inlay transfer. you as 
you dry. Now for that high glass finish on the birdhouse. I wanted to paint it queen bee and it puts a little bit of salt wash in it. If you add the salt wash or the baking soda trick to it, it'll stick to your, your paint will stick to your project so much better. And it'll also give it some texture. Since this birdhouse, I'm not sure if it's going to be used inside or outside. I wanted to make sure the paint really stuck to it. So I mixed this all up. You can see I'm going on this birdhouse really heavy. I want to transform this birdhouse to make it look like it's been old and hanging in that tree for a while. I'm going to give the birdhouse a rust finish, so I'm using weathered wood, old 57, and summer crush. And you're going to see how I just blotch on these three colors of paint, and it makes it look like the birdhouse has been hanging in the tree and it's rusted over time. I 
Since this birdhouse may go outside, I didn't want to wax it because wax will not hold up outside. Don't ask me why I know that. <laughs> but I gave it a coat of Big Top. And I will do a second and third coat of Big Top. Then I also wanted it to have a little bit of a shine to it. So I added pennies from heaven onto the birdhouse. You can see when I put some on and it's a little bit heavier, I kind of brush it in with my finger, making it um, go a long distance and just adding that pretty little shine. Watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. My last frame I painted in apothecary on the middle and then on the outside edge I used farm fresh and I kind of blended those two blues together, bluish greens together. They really complement each other very well and one's just a little bit lighter than the other one so I wanted that um, look at that frame, the two-tone. And then I also took some white and went in the center of the apothecary just to make it just a touch lighter. When I, dance around, I, can't help I sealed it all up with Big Top and then I took the golden rule and added a little shine. I had a board cut to go inside the frame and I started out and I didn't get this filmed, I'm not sure why, but I stamped that IOD rabbit onto the center of the board. And then I went in with the JRV stencil, the grain sack stencil, and put a mask over top of the bunny so the bunny would not get a grain stripe, stripe, stripe <laughs> over top of him. And then that just, it wasn't enough for me. I wanted more. So I added some, uh, I stenciled some of the words from the crockery stamp above and below him as well. You drive. Do you know I'm looking? 
it still wasn't enough for me and I needed to add some more. What I was going to do was add some transfers. So I'm going in with a coat of Big Top and then I'm going to let that dry and I will show you the process of how I added transfers to this item as well. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. That's the end of my thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Things complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. Until next time, happy painting. Some cutout bunnies? Sale. Cha-ching. Yeah.